Prince Andrew could receive a payout if he's evicted from Royal Lodge. The Duke of York has resided at Royal Lodge since 2003. However, his £249,000 grant will be cut from April raising questions over whether he will be able to afford the upkeep. Prince Andrew may be able to seek reimbursement if he is forced to leave Royal Lodge, according to reports. King Charles has told the firm to expect the purse strings to be tightened as he reviews how the privy purse is spent, with the Duke's annual grant of £249,000 set to be slashed. However, Andrew could be spared from eviction due to the terms of him maintaining the lodge, located in Windsor Great Park. Upon signing the lease for Royal Lodge in 2003 Andrew spent £7.5 million of his own money on refurbishing the property. Because of this, the firm waived any rent that would be due to be paid, with the Crown Estate liable to reimburse him if he is forced to leave before 2028. The Duke has lived at Royal Lodge with his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson since 2008, with her also keeping the £5 million townhouse in London. Andrew also has a sizable inheritance from the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh and the Queen Mother. The kitchens at Windsor Castle also supply the lodge with free meals, which is only three miles away from the castle on the royal estate. Ephraim Hardcastle wrote in the Daily Mail, the pummeling of the disgraced prince's wallet, threatened by his brother, is hardly terminal. Andrew has had to rely on his grant since he stepped down as a working royal in 2019. His only other income is his Royal Navy pension, however the king has reportedly made it clear his brother will always be taken care of. A royal source told the Daily Telegraph, the king is not going to leave his brother homeless or penniless. Another source told the Mail on Sunday, this is about Charles telling Andrew that he can use his own money to pay for things. The same goes for other members of the family, such as Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie. And while there is leniency with working members of the family who have offices funded by the sovereign grant, there have been other examples. Sophie and Edward's daughter Lady Louise, for example, inherited Prince Philip's carriage but Charles doesn't feel like he should pay for the upkeep of the ponies to pull the carriage.